So let's look at a couple more examples of Lewis structures. So the very first thing you want to do with the Lewis structure is you want to count up the number of valence electrons. You do that by looking at the group number. So carbon is in group 4, so there's going to be 4 valence electrons. Nitrogen is in group 5, there's going to be 5. And then there's an extra one because this is an ion, so there's going to be a total of 10 valence electrons. Since this is only two atoms, you're not going to have a central atom, but um, what you'll do is you'll write the atoms next to one another and draw a bond, and then you'll assign electrons. So there's two electrons um, that go into this bond, so there's two used up already, so we have to assign eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, Nitrogen has a octet, but carbon doesn't. So if I push another pair of electrons in, nitrogen still has a octet. Now carbon has one, two, three, four, five, six electrons. It still won't have a octet. So I'm going to push an additional pair of electrons in. So now you'll have C triple bond N. There's two sets of electrons on each one of these atoms, and each one has um, its octet fulfilled. This is a negative one ion, so you need to put it in brackets and put a negative sign on the outside, and um, we can also calculate the formal charge here. So for carbon, remember that to calculate formal charge, we look at the number of valence electrons, and we subtract the number of electrons assigned to it. So carbon has one, two, three, four, five electrons assigned to it. So it's a negative one. And nitrogen has, um, it's in group five, minus one, two, three, four, five. It has five nitrogen or five electrons assigned to it. So um, it sums up to zero. Now, the overall uh, sum of the formal charges has to equal the overall charge of the molecule. And this is a negative one ion, and we see that the formal charge sums up to negative one. So let's look at another uh, molecule. So in this molecule, um, there's going to be more than one central atom. And so first let's sum up the valence electrons. There's two carbons. Each one has four valence electrons. So it's going to be eight plus hydrogen. Hydrogen has one valence electron. There's three of them, so plus three, plus the five valence electrons from nitrogen. And this is going to sum up to 16. So we, um, so we didn't really cover organic chemistry so far, but this is an organic molecule. But you can see that there are three hydrogens here. Hydrogen can only have one bond. So you know that those hydrogens are going to be attached to this carbon. And then you can draw the other carbon and then the nitrogen. Uh, and so now we want to assign the remaining electrons that are left over. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten electrons used so far. So we're going to um, start with the terminal atoms, which is nitrogen. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Now we've used up all 16. This carbon right here does not have an octet. It needs two more uh, bonds to do that. And it can use those electrons that are on the nitrogen. So the structure here is going to be and nitrogen still has a lone pair.
Now you can confirm you used up all 16 electrons, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and I can see that everything has an octet. So this is a good Lewis structure. All right, so let's look at N2. There's going to be 10 valence electrons here because nitrogen is in group 5. And so we can just start with N single bond N and assign the electrons. So we've used 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Uh, one of these nitrogens has an octet, the other doesn't. The other could get an octet by bringing both of those lone pairs in. So you have N triple bond N. Each nitrogen has a lone pair of electrons.